Hello everyone, Blastazar55 here from Fantastech Films, and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Marvel intro from the Marvel movies. So here is a preview. So as you can see, this one is one of like the older style intros, not exactly the newer ones. If um, we were to make a newer one, we'd have to deal with like um, you know 3D programs like Cinema 4D or Blender or something. Um, and I don't think I would I want to deal with those, and because those need some more um, expertise, which I don't believe I have. Um, so before we start, you're going to have to download um, some assets, and the link to that will be the in the description below. Um, so one of them is a, a font, like a font, so you're going to have to install that, so I believe, um, for me, I had to, like, open it up, and there was, like, an install button, and when I pressed that, I just had to allow it to make changes to my computer, and the, um, uh, font was there, so it's, uh, it's called Bento Sans Extra Comp Black, so, um, and then the other assets, uh, this first one is just, um, basically like just a flipping animation the second one is the like these lines so this is where like your second set of text will be and like the marvel one it would have said studios here and then this one's just a red background so what we want to do is we will drag our um, background into this button create a new composition uh rename this to uh or not that one we want to rename this to main comp Let's drop our red background below it, and then we'll click this eye here so that we can only see our red background. And then we'll go up to our text tool here, and then create um, some text. So, uh, oops, let's go back. I want to, um, I want this to be uh, quite bigger. So, like so. And then just change this back to zero, and then um, red fan, not fat, fantastic. Tick. Apparently, I don't know how to write. And then um, I'll just horizontal center it out, and then position. I'll just move it down to where I want it, because I do want it to stay like fairly centered, at least like horizontally wise. Okay, so I want it there. I don't think it's big enough, so I'm just going to uh, make it a little bigger. All right. I uh, think I like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is so we'll press T on the keyboard for the background layer to bring it back, and then go to the point where you want your text to start um, fading in. I want mine to be around like here, and so create a keyframe here by pressing the stopwatch. Then go about like around two seconds, so um, should be around like here, and then we'll. Uh, bring this down to zero and so then if we uh, go back up render a preview you can see our text is now um, appearing it's kind of fading um, in from that so now let's bring our lines asset keep it underneath the background because we want everything to be underneath that um, and then move it to the point where you want it to start like appearing um, I want mine to start like two frames uh, from this keyframe, so one, two, then, and then you can see it's starting to um, appear. Okay. So now uh, go to go to the point where um, zoom in, and find the point where um, the lines stop stretching further, and then like they start zooming. Uh, like back zooming out so that's around that's this frame and then that it starts to zoom out and then here's okay and then let's go back to our text tool and we'll create new text or not that we want new text and then um, let's lower the size around there and then so if we just type something there it's like films it's not like there's no distance between the text so what we want to do is 
delete those. Um, I would, well, I'll take try 380. So we want to change this, and so that will change the distance between um each um you know thing. So like each uh just word letter. Okay, so now what we want to do is move it there. Line tab there, horizontal, center, and I want it to be a bit bigger. So let's just up that a little bit like so just make sure it's aligned okay and then i think just move the position a bit down all right so now what we want to do is um actually uh put the lines layer above or er, take the text put it below the lines layer and then what we want to do is go to um around Let's see. So I want it, I want my uh, like text to start appearing from that point. So like where there's a little bit of space between the two lines. So we'll just cut our text to that um, point. And then what we want to do is we want to um, duplicate this by pressing Control D, and then we'll put it uh, below our lines layer, but above our our um, everything else. And then, or not text, we'll go to rectangle tool and then we'll create a rectangle. Okay, so I'll just move this. What I want to do is I want to move this to around here. And so then it's covering that rest of that, like that text there. And so now if we, um, if we look at it, there's still a bit of text popping up from there. So let's go, let's click on our text and press P on the keyboard and that'll bring up our position. And so then um, we'll, we'll click uh, the stopwatch and then I'll just move it down a bit. So I'll just move it there so it's only fitting between um, those. And then we'll go to about, okay, so we have that there. First, what we're gonna have to do though is um, create keyframes for the mask path and then um, go frame by frame and then kind of adjust it so you can just press that to kind of like look at it um, and then see when you just when you have to adjust it you won't have to adjust it for every frame but then there see there's some gap so we want to uh, then adjust that okay and then keep going and um, adjust it by using one of these corners here because then it will create a keyframe because I think like f I found that if I just adjust it by the line for some reason it won't um, create a keyframe so just uh, do that use the lines as like what you're using to move down the text So there we go. And so at this point, I just have to adjust it like for every frame. There. Until the point where it stops expanding. Um. You know that's fine. That one have to adjust. I'll just try and okay. So that's the frame there. So there, just adjust that more. Once more, and then there. Okay, so now um, you can see that the text isn't exactly, you know, kind of there. So now here's where our position keyframe comes in handy. So at that frame here, uh, we're going to take it and move it up a bit. So like around there. And so then um, let's render a preview, see how that looks. Okay, yeah, so we'll talk, we'll uh, do the zooming part later. But 
at the moment it looks um you know it's kind of uh, going along with the text okay so now um we'll go back to here until the position's like that and then we'll go to the point where um the key f the um what's it the lines they stop like moving they stop zooming out and they stay still okay so okay so there and then we're going to move it uh, move the position of it up to about there okay so now let's run another preview and so the film it um it's you know it's going along with um the text so and then now we have our text um following the in between the lines so and what we want to do as well is um do the same thing for um the like the top layer so we'll keyframe position go to the end go to the end here and then bring it up and around there so then now both um things are moving so let's render a preview all right so that looks pretty good and um now what i want to do um in the preview is um afterwards after it stops moving there's like a lens flare along this bottom point um so that's what I want to do. First, I think I'm going to stretch, I'm going to change the composition settings, make it longer to around 16 seconds. Let's go, so let's try 16. Alright, I'll just extend this. And so now we have all 16 seconds. So what I'm going to do is, um, let's see, what, which red, okay, so this red's the one, the background red, then. Oh, uh, let's see. We want to extend our text, both text to to fit that. And then what we want to do is we'll take our lines layer and then press Control D, and then we'll move it to this point here. And then we'll go to the last frame here when, like you know, it's not moving. We'll right click on it, go to time freeze frame and so now it's just that single frame and uh, we can just extend it to the end of the comp as well the background it's fine because it's not like you know animating so if we just go then you know it's all still there okay so now what we want to do is we want to right click go to new adjustment layer take it up keep it above um everything else now um i'll just trim it to the point where i want the lens flare to come in and so that's um at the start of our second lines so adjust that and let's go up to effect generate lens flare and so um now we'll go here and then um can just adjust it by here or by using the flare center you can just you know like that and so i want it to start at around here right and then um so let's create keyframes for both the lens the flare center and flare brightness so now we'll press um let's press u on the keyboard and so then now we can see um are both our uh, flares or keyframes so let's change the brightness down to zero then go um, 11 frames forward and bring it up so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh, and you can move along frames by um, holding control and then pressing the left or right on the keyboard and bring it up bring it up so um i like mine at 137 i think it gives like a good um you know kind of brightness now i want it to be moving while it gains full bright while it gains the brightness so um i'll go to my end brightness keyframe and then 
I will move the, the flare center, so you just keep control Z that, and then I'll, not this one, we want to move the left one around here, just so, just a bit, and then, so it's kind of, um, it's moving while, um, it brightens up. Alright, then move around to the timeline, um, around like, uh, one second, I guess, so like one, you know, then one, six, eight, so around like 30, I, I checked with, um, my previous, like the original thing, and, um, it's 38 frames, so you can do 38 frames, but then again, this is whatever, like, however long you want it, so, and then we'll just move, um, our flare center to the end. And then create another keyframe for the flare brightness. So here. And then go around like 17 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, Around like there ish. And then we'll bring it down. Alright, so if we just play that back. Alright, so now let's um, uh, left click and then just drag it along and select all these keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And so what that's going to do is it's going to make our animation a bit smoother. So, Okay, so now let's go back to the beginning and I'll uh, render out a preview. So I'll just change this to... Um, Yeah, sure. All right, so uh, I'll just play it again because I kind of moved it. Alright, so that's looking good. I'm happy with that. And that's all that's it. So that's how you can create um one of the older Marvel intros from the Marvel movies. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, um leave a like and uh subscribe for more tutorials, more short films, and if there's any certain like effect or something you would like me to um tr like give a tutorial of, then uh comment that below in the description below. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.